SIG test topic 25 is on slopes of polar curves. So here's a typical kind of a problem. Um, this one's going to be more and more involved for the first time we go through and do it because there's a lot of steps involved. But there's two different methods we can use. So we want to find the equation of the line tangent to the curve r equals 4 cosine theta at theta equals 2 pi over 3. So remember, on a tangent line you need two things. You need a point and you need a slope. So first method we have is to convert this over to a rectangular equation. Now not all equations could be converted over. So only some of them, but it could be to your advantage or you know to do it one way or the other. So and it's kind of up to you. So this one you could do either way. So to convert it over, I'm going to first multiply both sides by r. And remember r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared and r cosine theta is equal to x. So if I want to figure out my slope, I need to find out what dy dx is. So I take my derivative I get 2x plus 2y dy dx is equal to 4. Solving for dy dx, I end up getting dy dx is equal to 2 minus x over y. Okay, that's going to be my slope. Now what I'm going to need to do is I need to figure out what x and y are. So this part you're going to have to use no matter which formula you use. Um, remember that x is equal to r times cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. Well, to find out what r is, I can simply plug in 2 pi over 3 into the original equation. So if I do 4 cosine of 2 pi over 3, and you got to remember your know your unit circle well enough to get these kinds of values. Cosine at 2 pi over 3 is equal to negative 1 half. Therefore, my radius is going to be negative 2. So that means r equals negative 2, and theta is equal to 2 pi over 3. But I've got to find my point in terms of x and y. So we're going to plug in negative 2 for r, and then 2 pi over 3 into the theta. So I got negative 2 cosine of 2 pi over 3. Again, cosine of 2 pi over 3 was negative 1 half times negative 2 equals 1. Sine at 2 pi over 3 equals root 3 over 2. That gives me negative root 3. So that means my point is 1 negative root 3. But I can also use these values to calculate out my slope. My slope is going to be dy dx which is equal to 2 minus x over y. So I plug in my x that I just found and my y that I just found. So I get 2 minus 1 over negative root 3 gives me a slope of negative 1 over root 3. Okay, Now I've got to put the pieces together and write my equation in my tangent line. So negative 1 over root 3 times x minus 1 minus root 3. Okay, That's the first method. So that's one option for work to the problem. Convert it over to rectangular. I'm going to show the other method right now. This is method two. We're going to use parametric equations. So again, we need to use x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. So if I do x equals cosine theta, then we can go over and we have um, r cosine theta. We have four cosine theta times cosine theta gives me four cosine squared. And then r sine theta would be 4 cosine theta times sine theta. I get 4 cosine theta sine theta is equal to 2 sine of 2 theta. So it makes it a little bit easier to do your derivative if I change that to the double angle for sine. So just kind of as an option. You don't have to do that, but it does help. Okay, first I want to find my point. Well, I could plug in theta directly into these equations now. So cosine of 2 pi over 3 again was negative 1 half. If I square it, I get 1 fourth times 4 gives me 1. If I plug in um, 2 pi over 3 into the theta right here, I get 4 pi over 3. Sine at 4 pi over 3 is negative root 3 over 2. Multiply that by 2, I get negative root 3. So I've got my point now is again 1 negative root 3. It'll be the same as the other problem. Now I'm ready to find my slope. So we've got to take the derivatives. Well, the derivative of x, remember, is going to have to use chain rule. So it's going to be 2 times 4 cosine theta times negative sine theta. That equals negative 8 cosine theta sine theta. If I use this function right here, it makes it easy to do my derivative. Derivative of sine is cosine of 2 theta times 2. So I multiply by again by 2, and I get 4 cosine 2 theta. OK, so to get my slope, I need to do dy over dx. But I could do this by first plugging in and finding out the value at 2 pi over 3. If I plug in 2 pi over 3 into this equation, we get 2 root 3 and we get negative 2. My, my um, equation of my line, then I'm going to have to calculate my slope, which is dy dx. 
So if I take negative 2 over 2 root 3, I get negative 1 over root 3. That gives me my equation, again, is going to be negative 1 root 3, x minus 1 minus root 3. Okay, so you're going to have a couple of different options for working through the problem. Again, 2 over root 3 and negative 2 were the dx dt and dy dt. So I do negative 2 over 2 root 3 gave me my slope, which was negative 1 over root 3. Same answer, you've got to choose which method you prefer.